Following the end of the American Revolution in 1783, New York State faced a serious lack of adequate transportation. New public roads were built, but they were of poor quality and failed to meet the needs of the state's rapidly expanding frontier population. At the beginning of the 19th century, the Yankee invasion was bringing New Englanders into New York by the thousands, and road building accelerated to accommodate the increasing trade they brought with them. By 1811, there were 137 New York companies that constructed 1,400 miles of roads. Around the same time, a new type of road, the turnpike, offered an alternative to existing public roads. Turnpikes were toll roads named for their toll gates, poles armed with pikes or sharp wooden shafts that were turned to allow travelers to pass through after paying. Since they were built by private corporations in order to make profits for investors, turnpikes were better constructed and could handle heavier traffic than public roads. Financed by tolls, they were generally kept in good repair and often paved with wood or stone. Turnpikes lasted well into the 19th century, although the coming of canals and railroads provided serious competition for carrying commercial goods. Plank roads were toll roads made of wooden planks. From the mid-1840s through the late 1850s, New York was the center of a boom in plank road construction. Plank roads were built by joint stock companies whose investors expected significant profits based on how long the roads were projected to last. Unfortunately for the investors, the planks were usually laid directly on top of damp ground, which caused the wood to rot quickly. As a result, plank roads generally lasted only about half as long as their builders estimated they would. After losing large amounts of money, investors lost their enthusiasm as well, and the plank road boom faded as quickly as it had begun. 